I think it was in a publication maybe from uh, the Sector Conference or ISC Squared that I first saw Purple Knight, um, and it looked kind of interesting, and a free trial is obviously a lure for a, a Dutchman like myself. Um, so I kicked the tires, and yeah, been very happy with it. So our Active Directory environment is very flat infrastructure across Canada, which and we have um, people working remotely quite constantly. So uh, a little bit of turnaround is a risk, but a large user base that's not super savvy. So the the flatness of the infrastructure is is a definite concern. So we have about six domain controllers spread across Canada. Some are older and need to be updated, but obviously updating things across the country can be a risk for a smaller environment. So we are a little bit out of date, which adds to the risk. Uh, we're a small team, which means having the capacity to do the work is a challenge. We tend to have two domain controllers per province. Oh, you didn't give me time to think. <laughs> Uh, the biggest concern, well, actually, I, I must admit, after running Purple Knight, is the account security. Uh, I would have thought our score would be much higher, and it's the worst score of all the categories. So, um, clearly, policies around the user accounts, securing them, and some of the updates and domain settings that we've been lacking on is what keeps me up at night, we'll say. Uh, we have not used any other... Active Directory specific tools, never even heard of those other two, quite honestly. Uh, we do use Tenable IO. We have used, uh, trying to think of it, two others, Rapid7 and Qualys for vulnerability scanning in general, but not specific to Active Directory. Purple Knight's the only one. Uh, for us, the most eye opening result when we ran Purple Knight the first time was our overall score and obviously the shocker of the um, account security section but uh, also that none of our sections scored in the green on the most recent scan originally it did uh, we have run it a few times which is the next question sorry but um, and our score is kind of getting worse instead of better so also surprising uh, on the account risks category, one of the biggest things that was an eye-opener was the disabled computer and user accounts that had privileged access within the domain, which is the, the win-rot type of scenario that we all hear about and doesn't think applies to us. So that was an eye-opener. So we have run... Purple Knight about four times in total, um, twice when we first started, uh, once to kind of get a baseline and then see the positive shift, which was positive at the time, and then periodically about once every two months we look to see if there's a new version and we run that, uh, which always finds new problems for us to fix. For security processes in our Active Directory, um, not enough I would say. Um, we have, actually, I would say overall processes, we've learned that we need to free up time from the systems admins and security analysts to dedicate proper time to the security of the environment overall. And, <clears throat> pardon me, and that our Active Directory security has been uh, grossly neglected as a result of the PK reports. So we're trying to add time to that as well. Definitely the ability to give a quick report card. Uh, I use snippets from it for the executive reports that I submit monthly and board reports quarterly. And also out to my team to show them the things that we thought we did well that, that need to be improved. So it kind of promotes that continual improvement within the security discipline for the team. Uh, so... Recommending Purple Knight? Absolutely. Uh, I do and have quite often, actually. Um, any environment that has Active Directory, I was surprised to find there are environments that do not, so that doesn't apply. But uh, I have a monthly manager's lunch. Actually, tomorrow's the next one. So I'll remember to mention it again. Um, I don't know if any of them have tried it, so I'll be curious to find out. 